What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. Today we are taking a look at Oshman. This is from the Napoli club selection pack. Uh, we've already covered pretty much all of these players that are in this pack, including uh, Cavaradonna and Anguisa. We are going to be taking a look at Oshi here now as well. I think this player is fantastic and he does rival... Whoop, we're in the wrong player lads. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I think we're... we're um, we're looking at a player here that is a fantastic addition to your squad and one of the best players in the game. I do think that they will release kind of like league players of the year or team of the years. Um, and I do think that that version of him could be better. But yeah, I mean, he is a beast, man. He's a monster. And obviously the question will be how he compares to the Showtime Oshman that they released as well. I genuinely think that this guy does rival him because of the dribbling and high possession stats that the Showtime is missing out on. That is a big kind of miss out on that, especially the tight possession, because obviously you want to be kind of balancing these cards as best as you possibly can. Um, the standard form is a bit of an issue, obviously, but he is on A form this week uh, at time of recording. So he will probably be on A or B form for the rest of the season because Napoli are flying it at the moment and so is he. Speed, acceleration, and jumping all at a fairly good clip straight off the bat. But this is how we're going to train him up. We've got two versions of him. So the first version is kind of your traditional kind of center forward, right? It's going to be a 94 maxed out kind of auto allocated version of him. Eight into passing and dexterity. Four into dribbling and lower body. And then six into aerial strength because we want to get that header up to as close to 80 as possible. But we also want to get the physical contact and jump up as well because we are going to be using him as an aerial threat. He's kind of like Hallenman. That's how I would describe him. Low balance, not great dribbling, not great ball control, but really good finishing and speed and acceleration. Obviously, Hallen doesn't have the speed stats as Oshie, but they do handle quite similarly. And I think that the Showtime version of him, when you take a look at his stats here, this Showtime version of him here has only got 67 type possession before you start training him up with 29 levels. Obviously, it's going to be a superior card with everything else, you know, such as the pace and the the shooting but i do like the 21 level version of napoli's um ashi here i do think that he is a good card and obviously you don't have the phenomenal finishing as you do with this Osh Oshiman version but you do have everything else that you could possibly want there uh in a goal poacher so that is how i would train him up if you're looking for a striker just true and true number nine you know you've got the finishing you've got the offensive awareness you've got the acceleration and you've got the jump and physical contact this guy is an all-round swiss army knife of being able to score from anywhere in the air on the ground be able to run as well with the dribbling now if you're looking for a more traditional kind of center forward a running gun maybe quick counter maybe playing 4-3-3 um and you're used to playing with guys like mbappe with that tighter possession that tighter ball control and dribbling i think that this version of the card is quite superior to this one and i'll tell you why right eight into shooting you still have that 85 finishing nine into dribbling you get tight possession 80 which is huge for a card that's this tall the balance gets a little bit of a boost with the dexterity and you also have 88 speed and 77 stamina now when i'm looking at this card man i would probably boost up the dexterity to get that balance to 70 and the acceleration and offensive awareness boosted up as well the reason why is because i'm not going to focus anything on passing and i'm not going to focus anything on aerial strength his stamina is going to remain at 75 this is going to be a super sub version of ashi right even though he doesn't have super sub i would be looking to bring this guy on as an excellent backup to your main striker so if you've been Bappe, romario eto Cruyff, any of those boys up front that you want to kind of replace ashi can come on and you can just throw everything at your opponent in the air uh running speed pace power balance everything that you have at your disposal so that is it for a quick training guide for ashi i do really like this player even though he doesn't bang that many goals in for me i do actually quite like him so let me know how you trained him let me know if you agree or disagree with that two versions as usual for play style the first version would obviously be for a slower base kind of player that likes to take their time in the ball and the second player would be all about kind of one touch passing um you know maybe three up front so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon hope you enjoyed the video peace